If you've been waiting for a proper all-electric ute to hit Australian showrooms, sorry, this Toyota Hilux Revo ain't gonna be it. Though this is a battery electric version of Toyota's best-selling Hilux, it's only a concept, and the chance of it making it into production in this form, just like its tailpipe CO2 emissions, is zero. So why is it here at Toyota HQ, and why have I driven it? Well, this is a declaration of intent, one that proudly proclaims that Toyota's fan-favorite workhorse won't be left behind in the electric future. Remarkably, the Revo feels fairly familiar to anyone who has driven a Hilux from the last few years, as the added weight of the batteries and the electric motor don't change the handling characteristics all that much. Of course, there's no gruff and growly diesel up front anymore, and no more DPF to worry about. However, the Revo is severely limited in terms of driving range, and Toyota is quoting around 200 kilometers of cruising before needing a recharge. But keep in mind that this is a concept car and not a production ready version. Likewise, its payload and towing capacity would be extremely limited, and it doesn't have four wheel drive capabilities. So don't expect to take this thing across the Simpson with a caravan. And with a full load, you can expect that driving range to drop dramatically. Having said all of that, Toyota is well aware of the Revo's shortcomings and has actually said that it, in its current state, would not be a popular option for ute buyers that like to use their cars for work and play. The Revo then is best suited for last mile delivery services. Think Australia Post or Amazon delivering packages before heading back to home base. In fact, this is an evaluation vehicle and Toyota will use this Revo as a test bed for a future version of an electric Hilux though the brand hasn't yet committed to what type of powertrain technology it will use. Could it be an all-electric car like the Rivian R1T? Maybe it's going to be a plug-in hybrid like the 2025 Ford Ranger. It could even be hydrogen powered as there's another Hilux concept floating around overseas that borrows bits from the Mirai sedan. Toyota is quick to point to hydrogen fuel cell as a viable alternative for a car like this, and it solves a lot of the shortcomings of this battery electric vehicle. Fast refueling, a long driving range, and the ability to tow are all afforded to hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles. Although hydrogen refueling infrastructure is nowhere near ready for mass market consumption. Alternatively, advancements in battery technology, namely solid state batteries, would solve a lot of those problems too. And it would boost driving range and cut recharge times significantly. However, it's unlikely Toyota will follow Ford down the plug-in hybrid path or opt for a range extending hybrid as the goal is to cut tailpipe emissions and these two technologies can still produce vast sums of emissions. Either way, don't expect to see a Toyota Hilux EV anytime soon. Toyota reckons that a hydrogen powered Hilux won't be ready until closer to the end of the decade, while a battery electric version is likely contingent on advancements in solid state technology, which to my understanding is still at least four or five years away. So for now, enjoy that diesel powered Hilux while you still can, because it's pretty clear it won't be around forever.